So The Lone Ranger is now summer 2013's big box office bust, which is to say it still earned millions, just not as many millions as it needed to justify the millions that it cost, and definitely not the millions they wanted to make off of it. Let's not forget, for a minute there, the production of The Lone Ranger was so screwed up the studio shut it down. Now I bet they wish they'd left it there, but somebody, or a lot of somebodies at Disney, decided this was worth spending what will end up being in excess of $300 million on, despite nobody really seeming to have wanted it. So, how? Why? Who the hell thought this was a good idea? What the hell happened here? Well, guys, I don't really have the luxury of doing the whole Sherlock Holmes, oh, well, chaps, I've already solved the case by glancing around the area, but rather than simply tell you the solution, I'm just going to walk you and Watson all the way through my logic step-by-step -step to show off kind of thing in this case, so let's just cut to the chase. This happened. Right here. Johnny Depp as Tonto. Oh, there's a lot of things that went wrong in The Lone Ranger, but Johnny Depp as Tonto is where the majority of them lead back to. He's the collapsed star creating the gravity in the black hole of suck that is this movie. How bad is this character? So bad that being an aggressively offensive racial caricature played by a white actor isn't even the worst thing about him. It is bullshit that a white guy in red face is playing a Native American in a big 2013 blockbuster, make no mistake. Especially Tonto. Yes, fine, the whole stilted Tonto speak thing was always kind of iffy, but you know what? The version of Tonto people remember from the TV show was played by an actual Native actor named Jay Silverheels, and he actually wasn't that much of a conventional Indian stereotype otherwise. He didn't do earth magic, he didn't talk to animals, he didn't do any of the cartoony spirit warrior crap that he does in the movie. So they've actually gone backwards. But that's not the only issue. The movie is still called The Lone Ranger, but The Lone Ranger isn't the main character or the star. Tonto is. Which could be interesting, i.e. telling a familiar story from an alternate point of view, but here it's done without any kind of overriding point. They aren't subverting or commenting on The Lone Ranger as a character or a franchise by viewing him through Tonto's eyes. They're just diverting attention from the conventional hero to the wacky sidekick played by Johnny Depp because that worked in the Pirates movies. Ah, uh, yes, about Johnny Depp and the Pirates movies. Look, I'm not gonna say you can't manufacture a guaranteed hit movie based on a mathematical formula. If you can apply metrics and statistics analysis to human behavior well enough to assemble a winning baseball team out of otherwise middling players or correctly predict election results in defiance of once ironclad political logic, I'm sure you can use it to make a movie. It's just that the actual solid models for that don't seem to exist yet, so Hollywood opts to use stupid models to try and achieve the same results. For example, if Johnny Depp clowning around in makeup and or some kind of a stupid hat was the main shared element of three big-budget effects-driven movies based on well-known but questionably viable nostalgia properties, then clearly this big-budget effects-driven movie based on a well-known but questionably viable nostalgia property also requires Johnny Depp and a stupid hat. Yeah, about Tonto's bird hat and makeup. That's a brand new thing for the movie. You know where that came from? A lot of people seem to think it's some kind of traditional Comanche dress because, well, something that looks this bad on camera could only be in the movie if it had to, right? Well, no. It's in the movie, apparently, because Johnny Depp decided Tonto should look like this. And since saying okay when Johnny Depp decided Captain Jack should be a Keith Richards impression turned out to be worth a billion dollars, you bet Disney said sure, Absolutely, let him put a bird on his head. But where did he get the idea? Well, turns out it's not based on any actual specific native tradition. He just borrowed it from a painting called I Am Crow by Kirby Sattler. Except in the painting, the bird isn't a hat, it's just behind the guy. See, Johnny Depp is a good actor, and let's be clear here, Johnny Depp is a great actor, and he's been a great actor in a lot of great movies that most people didn't go see in theaters. So I don't generally begrudge him for taking big paydays to keep doing this Jack Sparrow routine. He paid his dues, he worked hard, he's earned this. But part of what makes him a great actor is that he's kind of weird, eccentric dude who makes a lot of weird, eccentric acting decisions. Some of which pay off, some of which don't. That happens. Remember, that big walking joke from the island of Dr. Moreau was also the godfather. But Depp is in the movie, and he is playing this bizarre caricature version of Tonto, and a huge amount of the script is dedicated to either explaining or focusing on why he's like this. Seriously, nearly all of the dopiest, most convoluted crap in this movie is built around Tonto's presence in the story. He is towing literally all of the film's bad baggage. So yeah, if you want the short version of what happened here beyond they made a terrible movie, which doesn't really work anyway since terrible movies make money all the time, it's that Disney bet the farm on a formula and believed in it so strongly that not even the shockingly obvious this is gonna come off a little racist issue couldn't deter them. And they definitely never asked the most important question. Who is the Lone Ranger for? Who wants to see this? Hollywood keeps trying to bring back the Western because Hollywood remembers when Westerns were the best way to print money at the box office. But that was a long time ago. 
go, look, I like westerns, but there's a reason most of the westerns they make are aimed at older audiences. Shoot, the American cowboy being yesterday's adventure icon was the whole point of Woody's Ark and Toy Story, and that was almost 20 years ago. So not only did Disney make a movie that most people didn't care about, they made it in such a way that the only audience who might have wanted to see it were probably going to be turned way the hell off. It'd be nice to imagine that the substantial failure of The Lone Ranger would lead the industry to rethink the way it makes these decisions, but it won't. If Hollywood learns any lesson from this disaster, it'll probably be just no more cowboy movies again. And that would be a shame, because that means we're going to keep getting movies just as bad as The Lone Ranger. I'm Bob, and that's the big picture. Thank you